Good morning to all of you that are home watching the uh, Divine Liturgy. Uh, I would uh, say uh, before we begin, uh, there was another, another priest who uh, wrote a very uh, beautiful letter uh, uh, with the uh, conditions that we have today. And uh, he suggested that, uh, and I do of course, uh, that uh, while you're watching uh, the liturgy, that uh, you actually be present here. In other words, when you're home, uh, try to uh, do not be casual, do not lay on the couch, uh, you know, uh, keep your posture as if you were in church. Uh, if you uh, do not eat yet, uh, do not eat until the uh, end of the liturgy. And also he suggested that, uh, again, uh, do not be tempted to get up and have a drink of water or coffee or eat or whatever it is. In other words, you are in church and you are participating uh, uh, just as if you were here. Uh, this is why we have the camera and, uh, and again to, uh, to, uh, to uh, have you uh, participate to the best of our ability even though you are not here first. Uh, also, uh, sing along with the hymns. Uh, sing along uh, with, uh, with the chanter, uh, the priest's part also, you may uh, uh, sing along in that way. And, uh, and I think uh, that you will have a greater fullness of, uh, of the uh, liturgy uh, as we celebrate it uh, today. Uh, and uh, we will say more, we begin the liturgy now, and uh, we will say more uh, uh, a bit later. Oh, 
της πυρότητας και της πόλεως κάπης, πάσης πόλεως και χώρας, και το πίστη ηκούντον ελαφτές του Κυρίου Βεϊβόλε. Κύριε Λεϊσό, ο Θεέγρο, που έπρεπε να βάζει σ' αυτό το φύτσιο και τέπρεπε σύζυνς, να μας πρέπει του
Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever through the ages of ages. Amen. Exipsus capirces, O esplatos, ta fica te deso primero, y na y más, y le cedos y escontazo, y soy
And Jesus asked his father, How long has he had this? And he said, From childhood. And it has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, Lord, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd was come, come, came running together, he rebuked the unspirit, unclean spirit, saying to it, You dumb and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him, and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him, it came out. And the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, This kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fasting. They went on from there and passed through Galilee, and he would not have anyone know it. For he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And when he is killed, after three days, he will Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Lucio, those who will see now, the Alpha Sigma Tai Fu Tai Ho, those who will be subfirmed as a Felicity Simon, the Misha Lady Simon, and the Lord, and the Lisa Rose of the Korea. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of age. Oh, 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 oh. 
and that he is the salvation of the world? That's the question. Jesus was asked, he, 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 he asked this man, do you believe? And he said, yes, I believe, but, but, help my unbelief. Quite beautiful, actually. Quite beautiful. Why? Because it applies to many of us today. I believe, however, there's, only, there's a but there. There's a but, but help my unbelief. And I say to all of us, all of you who are watching, all of us, the church, all of us, that completeness in Christ, it ought to be for all of us, truly God, I believe. Truly God, I believe. No help on my unbelief. Although, yes, say it. Because only God gives us that belief anyway. You may say it. But you may say it to yourself, I truly believe that God is all almighty. You know, we celebrate today a, a martyr, his name is Mark, and, uh, and he was persecuted terribly. And he was tortured. And they flayed his skin. And they, and they uh, horrible, horrible tortures they gave to him. And he would not give up his belief. He didn't say, I believe, but. I believe even to my own life. I give my full life to you. I give my life to you, Christ. Why? Because I truly believe. And that's what the martyrs have done. They have given complete trust in the Lord our God and our Savior. And that's what the gospel lesson is for us today. Give all that you have to Christ our Lord and do not be afraid. And do not be afraid. And I say that because today so many are afraid. So many of us are concerned. And we ought to be, uh, uh, yes, to some degree, of course, to be afraid. Yes, none of us want to die right away or anything like that. None of us are not concerned. Sure, we're concerned. We're concerned for our children. It doesn't say don't be concerned. Uh, don't, uh, don't, but don't be so afraid of such a, of a thing and say, uh, and say that, uh, oh God, I don't know. We do know. We know who Christ is. He's the resurrection of all. And this is what God says. He says, to believe with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and, and with all your body and everything. Believe God in all ways in your whole being. And that's the Lord and the Savior that we have today. That gracious God that had come himself to give his life for us. To put himself on the cross. Amazing. Amazing. God who created us loves us so much. Imagine that. He doesn't need us. He wants us because he created us and loves us. And gave himself. He said, I will be just like them. And I will give, I will have a body. So they can see that uh, by example that I will put myself on the cross for all the sins they have committed. So they may enter into the kingdom of heaven. How beautiful is that? How glorious is that? So why would we fear anything? Why would we fear anything today? Do you believe? Give your answer. Yes, God, I truly believe. If it's God help my belief, fine. It was a good answer, actually. God help my belief. In other words, not because I believe so much, but you help me to believe even more in who you are and what you offer to the, to the world so that I may fully understand who you are as my God, my Lord, and my Savior. Actually, it's a very beautiful, it's a beautiful uh, uh, lesson for us. And of course, the boy is healed. Christ heals the boy. Uh, he gave, raises him up and uh, tells the demons to go away and never come back here to this boy again. And the boy is healed. Why? Because God is merciful. Even to those who are not quite sure even to all of us, God loves every single person, every person in this world. Whoever, uh, even if they're not Christians, God loves every single one. Every single person that's been crea created in this world. And that's how glorious and how our Lord and our Savior is. However, with all that, I would say again, I make an appeal to, uh, to you who are not in the church that uh, we, uh, we are, uh, again, 
In this dilemma of the world, where we're not the only ones, we are in a dilemma of the world. However, because you cannot attend the church, uh, the church uh, is going to be struggling very much. Uh, financially, yes, financially. Uh, why financially? Because you are not here to offer your stewardship. You're not here to all buy a candle. Uh, you're not here for these things that uh, you may contribute. And your donations, your, your stewardship, and your offerings are, again, uh, important because you keep the, oper the church in operation to pay the bills. So we make this plea to you, even though you are not here, uh, to, and because you're not here doesn't mean that you want not to contribute to the church. But you want to contribute to the church because uh, because uh, you are the faithful and you, and you assist the church. So I make this uh, plea to you that uh, you do the best that you can with that. Uh, send in your stewardship. Send in your stewardship. We have here not only stewardship, we have uh, contributions as well. Uh, and that uh, supports us. And I'm not talking to you if you're laid off or anything like that. If you're laid off and, and, there's a, and you have to conserve and, and, and hold on to what you have, uh, then do that by all means. That's what stewardship is. If we're in trouble, uh, uh, do the best that you can. If we're not in trouble, uh, then do the best that you can to offer to the church. Uh, be, a, be a steward of the church if you're not a steward here. Uh, do maybe a little more if you're blessed by having, still having your job. If you, have, if you make more than uh, many do, uh, offer more. Yes, offer more. That, that's why, that's a, a sacrifice that you make. And so the church can, uh, again, uh, be uh, solvent, as it is. It's been, we've been here for 31 years, 32 years, maybe even more, uh, 85, I think 35 years this church has existed. And we've never really had uh, a real situation. Uh, as we have now. So the, uh, so the uh, appeal goes to uh, all of you, the stewards. Not only, uh, not only are we not coming, we believe and know uh, that we're not going to have the festival this year. The festival uh, contributed to a, a great deal of, uh, of the funds that we receive. And whatever other fe uh, fundraisers that we have, well, we're not going to do that. So this is going to totally, I believe, we'll see, uh, depend on you. So do the best that you can. Mail in your, what you would have given on a weekly basis. Uh, do that, your stewardship, your donations, whatever it might be. What maybe what, what you would have spent on the candles and the tray or whatever way you had contributed. Uh, but to do that on a, either a weekly basis or a monthly basis, whatever way you can. And this is the appeal that uh, I and the parish council uh, and all the people, all of us, uh, make that appeal to each of us uh, that we can do the best that we can. Anyway, God is good. God is gracious. And I say to you all again, uh, really, have no fear. Calm down if you're so excited and, and really up and, uh, and, and really uh, afraid and terrified. Don't be. Don't be. God is with us. Yes, God allows things to happen for us, for our salvation. That's why God has come into the world. Uh, and, and he allows suffering. Why? Because so many of us have gone away from Christ. We've gone away from Christ. We've left Christ. And so he allows us to suffer, that we may think again. Why am I suffering? Oh, God, help me. If we, if we bring ourselves back to God, this is what our Lord all our suffering for, that we return to Him, because there's no other reason for us to live but to be with Christ, uh, with Him now and in, in turn. May God bless you all. Thank you. Give you the Oh.
the Lord of the Lord of the today and all of the States. Dear the Lord of the Lord the Lord of the Lord the Lord of 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 